all, it's your girl KB. So I'm starting off with dry hair, and it is pretty stretched because after I washed it, I probably put in. Actually, I don't think I put in any product, but if I did, it was something very light, and I braided it down so that my hair could be stretched. Like I said, my hair is very thick as you can see so I didn't want to use as much heat because I am going to be using a flat iron and also a blow dryer so I'm taking my thermal shield heat protectant from Cantu which I got from a local beauty supply and I'm just going to spray it and be generous spray it all over my hair and then I'm going to go in with my blow dryer I had a blow dryer attachment but this thick hair just would not take to it so I just used this little detangling brush and I made sure to blow dry it all the way through like thoroughly 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 I think one of the biggest if not the biggest part of a nice blowout um, a nice flat iron and a, a nice whatever you want to call it style that we are doing today is the foundation which is the blow dry you do not want to take your flat irons to hair that is not thoroughly and properly blow dried so so after that I didn't show it but the product I am using a pomade um, and I'm taking a very tiny amount because you don't need too much you just need a little bit on your fingers and you just want to glide it down your hair and then I'm taking my Sadie flat irons I've had these since I was in college and they work really well and I try not to use all the way up to uh, 415 I try to keep it somewhere in the threes but I'm just going to um, take it take the flat iron and I'm gonna make sure I flick that wrist um, when I curl my hair so towards the curl you just want to make sure you twirl your wrist a little bit to either the left side or the right side and then you want to pin the curl to whatever side you want it to be on when it's hot it really works the best when your hair is hot I mean but I'm just gonna go ahead and pin mine right then and there I'll show you guys a picture actually of a style that a stylist did for me and she didn't pin it she just made sure that she positioned the hair the way that she wanted it to go but I really like that style and this style is inspired by that style but my hair is a little bit longer so here are the pictures that I have for when my hair was shorter and she pin curled the mess out of these curls this hair was laid and slayed honey so we are going to try to do something similar so as you saw I took a tiny bit of that pomade and I'm just making sure that I am rubbing it into the strands make sure that every strand is coated um, hopefully that helps with the heat damage too you want to make sure that you're like I said using a tiny 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 bit and then you can see towards the end I am just going to flick that wrist and that curl is yes period Ooh. and then I'm just gonna pin it to the side that I want it to be on I pinned some to the left and I pinned some to the right it really didn't make any particular rhyme or reason I just was going with the flow now don't judge me now I am in the airport I am in BWI because I had a flight in a few hours and the girl just she gotta do what she gotta do so as you can see I, I have my pomade in a plastic bag and people was walking in and they they heard that flat iron they they heard them bdbs popping and i was getting it done because i had to look cute okay i was going on a trip and i had to be fine i had to be fired y'all gonna see the pictures so i was finally done i had a few more curls left i made sure i wasn't actually able to bring my um my hairspray but if you have like a light oil you can run that through your hair once you take your scarf off I did bring my scarf and y'all I tied it on I got on my flight and when I got off I was the baddest I was the baddest I was the baddest thing out there okay you hear me that hair was late okay airport hair do what you gotta do to be late honey yes now I don't have any video of me taking my scarf off 
unfortunately but this is what my hair looked like three weeks later I did let it go a little bit overboard I don't recommend that especially for light blonde hair because you need moisture eventually but that is what it looked like still very much cute I loved it so much that is what it looked like when I was in LA this is what it looked like without fluffing it out and letting it look messy but this is what it looked like and I loved it so much I got so many compliments so let me know what you think down in the comments let me know if it works out for you and I'll see you guys in the next video